Today, I'm gonna show you how to do beef masaman curry. Welcome to Thai Chef Food Channel. And of course, we use our masaman page, the homemade one. I have the video or recipe and teach you how to do masaman page. Please click the link up at the corner here back to how to do homemade masaman page. Plants, coriander root and garlic If your home don't have coriander root, you just use only garlic, is no problem. Or you want to sear only beef and a little bit of fish salt, that is more flavor of Thai. We add one teaspoon of fish salt, a little bit of oil, one, one tablespoon. Mix the meat. When fit sauce, we marinate with the beef and we sear it and make with coriander and garlic smell Smells so good. Just be sear for more color and then the flavor of the one we marinate. The flavor of fit sauce, the flavor of uh, coriander and garlic and make the beef is more tender when we break. And then now I'm gonna add coconut and water. Add more coconut milk will break the beef. Coconut milk will help be more tender. We will break the beef with coconut milk around 5 minutes. I add more 1 cup of water and then we break more. We use medium low heat. Coconut milk is good when we marinate with beef and pork. They will help the meat is more tender. So that's why I adjust to use with masaman curry. We coconut milk and some water with beef after we sear. Now I'm gonna put masaman curry paste. I'm gonna simmer beef and masaman around 30 minutes, 35 minutes with low heat to make the beef is more tender and curry flavor will come inside beef meat. From my experience, beef masaman and lamb masaman, the taste of the masaman salt or masaman curry be used with beef and lamb. They will not much sour from tamalines they will have only a little bit and less of the curry texture um a bit sweet and salty but if you compare with chicken masman chicken masman will have more tree flavor they will have all the same level of sour salt and sweet for beef masman i will put one of tamaline juice and two spoon of fish salt and palm sugar, one tablespoon. Sugar. After seasoning, we braid around 30 minutes with low heat, but we have to be keep stirring and add some little bit of coconut because the texture of masaman is heavy. I will starting put um, potato. For beef, I will make potato with sweet potato. Potato and sweet potato is have very different texture. What we eat with the masaman is really good with beef. And of course, beef is good with shallots. 
This one from my experience, I really love when we have some beef and then we add some shallots and mix between potato and sweet potato is give like, you know, when we eat like nails experience with curry. Half layer of potato, I will start with carrots. For Thai curry, we cannot say like how much exactly coconut, how much exactly water. I'm gonna add more in curry. When we braise or when we simmer, and then we see the thing, and then we just be add a little bit of coconut and a little bit of water. So make the texture is get more balanced. For Thai curry, they will not too thick with coconut same the sort, but we have texture like half soup and then half curry. So we will have the balance between coconut and water in Thai curry. And now I will put all shallots and onions. Add some little bit of water. A bit of coconut. After we add shallot and onion, and then we braid a little bit, maybe four or five minutes is enough until the shallot is cooked. But don't need to be like make it too too soft in the curry because when we eat, I still need texture of crunchy, a bit of onion and shallot. But I also need sweet of shallot and onions out with the curry. And now, perfect. When you take, you will get flavor of beef, you will get flavor of shallot, you will get flavor from onion. It's very good. That is perfect when we cook shallot and onion. It's all perfect. You see, or sweet potato or potato is not too soft. You can see color, that means they absorb or someone curry inside. Perfect, so much someone beer. Mm. How good is it, you see? If you love Thai food and always want to be able to make authentic Thai meal from the comfort of your own kitchens, then welcome to Thai Chef Food channels. My channel will take you on culinary journeys where I will personally teach you all you need to know to be able to prepare and enjoy authentic Thai cuisine for your family and friends. I hope you have all enjoyed this video and as always, Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment so that I can make even better recipe and video for you in future. I'm looking forward to see you in our next episode. Thank you.